Good evening, my fellow scientists. It is Wednesday, September 14th, 2017, and I want to talk to you about a book I'm reading called Home Comforts. I'll put a link in the description to the Amazon page. The book is a practical guide to the art and science of keeping house. It's very non-Martha Stewart, and I like it for its just bare bones practicality and the fact that it was written by someone with an understanding of the academic life. The author was a grad student and law student before she became a lawyer. She lived in various degrees of squalor as a student, and it shows, but ultimately she has a lot of love and appreciation for making things clean and neat and healthy, and presents it in a way that is far less frou-frou than the uh, art of tidying up or some other things that have been popular lately. And I, I like that she presents this not as a chore or as something that needs to be done uh, by other people's demands, but rather as a way to make life happier and more pleasant for everyone who shares a home. I lived with roommates for quite a few years and had a lot of fun, but one of the major points of contention that ultimately made me want to live on my own as a student was that mm, tidying up is insufficient. It's keeping a home clean and, and healthy uh, takes a lot of work from everybody, and ooh, when folks are not doing it, it can get pretty gross. And that, that reality that a home is more than just a hotel where we stack our stuff, that it's a place that can be a fulfilling home, not just a warehouse for goods and bed, um, that, that's something that our culture has somewhat abandoned. And maybe just because it was unfairly regarded as women's work by our culture. And as women said, that's a crummy uh, state of affairs. And it was. Uh, it just didn't happen anymore. It was like, that's not valuable. Well, it is valuable. It's just not fair to required of half of our population. <laughs> so I like this book. I recommend it if you want a practical guide to, to keeping house, if you want to know what kind of uh, detergent to use for a given fabric, or if you want to use what kind of cleaner to use on a fiberglass tub, or if you want to know whether your stainless steel knives can go in the dishwasher, they can, then it's a good book to check out. And I think it's it's got a great philosophical introduction by someone who's clearly thought a lot about these things. So if you like that kind of thing, a bit of a digression, but it's just on my mind because I'm reading the book. Uh, we'll return to science tomorrow, talk about biosensors and glucometers and electrochemical measurements here in the Allen Lab.